I agree, my friend. So what is our theme today? What message did you get? When and will it be the ideal time? When will be the ideal time? You know, you say you're going to do something. Well, when is it going to be the ideal time? When is it going to be that ideal time to make a change? You know, oh. just... Okay. You could spin that a lot of different ways, can't you? Yes. Hmm. When will it be the ideal time to have some breakfast? Or when will it be the <laughs> ideal time to channel messages? That's right. <laughs> cool. And always, hand in hand, you get a, a song. What's our tune today? The Whitney Houston song, The Greatest Love of All. Oh, so maybe it's when will be the ideal time to realize this is the greatest love of all. That's right. Mm. Hmm. You know, in the one of the stanzas, it says, because the love of all is happening to me, I found the greatest love of all inside of me. Oh, there you go. The greatest love of all is easy to achieve. Let, let leads you to a lonely place. Find your strength in love. Mm. Nice. Thank you, Whitney. Well, with all that being said, you going to take us into heart coherence? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yay. This is the ideal time. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath in and hold it for the count of three and then exhale with a sigh. Ah. Inhale for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. Ah. This time, Inhale through your heart. Take that breath down your spine, down past your hips, down past your legs, your knees, down your lower legs, down past your ankles, your feet, the soles of your feet, down into Mother Earth, down past the crust. But as you're going down and feeling this, Feel yourself step on an anchor and let that anchor take you down, down like an elevator, down into the core of the earth, coming down, down, down. Feel yourself coming down into the core of the earth. Ah, it brightens as you get to the core of the earth. Look around, see the heart of Gaia. Take a step off the anchor and feel Gaia under your feet. Feel the energy of Gaia and consciously start to walk. Walk across Gaia, left, right, left, right, and feel that energy come up your legs as you are walking on Gaia coming up through your feet, your ankles, your legs, coming all the way up through your hips, your abdomen, your torso, your shoulders filling your arms, your hands, your fingers, your neck, your head, sensing the filling of all your energy fields around you. Yes, feel the grounding of stepping on Gaia. Consciously feel Gaia. Consciously feel yourself being filled with the energy of Gaia with every step you take. Now, see the crystal beds and walk over to the crystal beds. There is an entryway for you to walk through to get to the center of the crystal beds. Take that entryway and feel the energy of the crystal beds. Feel the energy of the crystal beds. Absorb the energy of the crystal beds. 
feel it, know it, sense it with all your senses. You may taste it, you may smell it. This is up to you to determine which sense brings more to you. Yes, take a moment in the crystal beds and feel. Be grateful to the crystal bed, send your gratitude and start to return back towards the anchor and the heart of Gaia. Extend your gratitude to Gaia, to the heart for the energy, for the experience, for the love that you've received and been filled with. Yes, take the energy with you from the crystal beds in Gaia and step on the anchor and let that anchor pull you up, 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 up through the earth, up through the crust. And now reconnect with your body, with the soles of your feet, your feet, your ankles, your legs, your hips, your abdomen, your spine coming all the way up to your heart and deposit the energy of the heart of Gaia and the crystal beds in your heart and circulate that energy and mix it and blend it with the spark of God and the violet flame. Now take another breath in and send that breath through your heart, this time up your spine, up through your skull, your crown, your cosmic Christ consciousness and connect with the central sun, the heart of the universe. Yes, feel that energy of the central sun. Allow it to fill your body and your energy fields. Feel and be grateful for this opportunity and give thanks to the central sun. Now, bring that energy down with you from the central sun. Bring it down, 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 down through your cosmic Christ consciousness, down through your crown, down through your skull, down your spine to your heart and deposit the energy from the central sun in your heart. Again, blend that energy with those energies already in your heart. Focus on the expansion of that energy in your heart. That energy is expanding to fill every cell of your body, every cell of your body inside and out. Fill the room with this expanded energy. Fill your house with this expanded energy. Fill your city, your town, your state, your province, your country, your continent, and fill that expansion. Continue to fill the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Yes, totally expanding to blanket the planet Earth. And in that, going into the quantum field and filling and expanding that energy to the hearts of all on earth. The love, peace, joy, and harmony. Expanding that energy up into the emerald grid, magnifying that energy back to earth. Back to earth. Ah, feel that flow going on. Now that energy expands up into the golden grid and expands the energy out into the universe. What a gift we're giving to our neighbors in the universe. Expanding the energy of love, light, peace, and harmony. Allow that to expand out and feel the joy that is reciprocated. We love you, we honor you, and we bid you namaste.
Namaste. Mm. Wow, it's delicious. Thank you, Clay. So moving on, I picked a different deck today. Mm. The Mother Mary Mary. deck. Lightful. And the card is Our Lady of the Rose Child. Mm. And the number on this card is 23, which is a five Mm. in numerology. But what this one represents is rebirth and what you have to go through, through that rebirth, the agony, but you are supported to bring you through that. You're supported by the mother with love to help you through that process. You know, with, with the rose, you have the thorns, but then you have the beauty of that beautiful flower. So let's see what spirit has to say about this. There's beings of light. We love the song, the greatest love of all. The greatest love of all. We also like the lyrics that talk about loving yourself. Love yourself and seeing the beauty within. Seeing that beauty grow. See that beauty fill not only you, but fill those around you. Allow them to see the possibilities of growth. Allow them to see your growth and within that growth the expansion of love the love what can you say about love what does your senses tell you about love Does love feel good? Does love sound good? Does love taste good? Play with that. How does love come into your presence? How can you shift your being to more of a loving being. Loving not only others, but yourself. Let's start with yourself. See yourself in the mirror. Notice. Notice how there is a shift when you focus on that love. Maybe by changing your words to the greatest love of all. The greatest love of all within and without. We see this as symbolic. 
symbolic of a rebirth, a shift, a shift in a perspective, a shift in what is new for you to discover. What is there within? What has been hiding away that can give you a focus on what has been waiting to blossom in your life? Is now the ideal time? Is now the ideal time to nurture that within? To nurture that you that has been waiting to appear, to reappear, to have brought to earth a greater gift than you had ever expected. How can this be? Dearest one, that's why you are here at this time, to unfold, to come out of the shadows, to be the best that you can be. Not only for yourself, but for others. Lead the way. Lead the way. And show how wonderful these gifts can be. Yes. You are an example. You are an example not only to your family, your friends, others on earth, but you have an energy about you. You have an energy that will draw others to hear what you have to say. Be open to this. Remember, you're coming out of the shadows. It is your time. It is your time. And remember, you're not alone. You are not alone. Be. Be the gift. Be the one. We are here with you. We love you. We see your magnificence. Namaste. Mm, namaste. Thank you, Kalei. That was absolutely mm, delicious. Thank you. Thank you. So I was guided this morning to grab a card from Denise Jarvie's deck, The Secret Language of Light. I don't know if you can see that clearly. And as I was shuffling, I got the clear message to have Kalei pick the card. <laughs> so we went through our little process and we'll all find out what it is together. Ooh, wow. Enlightenment. You feel the energy in that card. Wow. 43, so number seven. Hmm. Interesting how it's, um, I don't know if you can see the circle in the background with the flower of life in the pattern. Mm -hmm. That's the next With the earth. 
Yeah, that's the necklace I chose today. Ah. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Well, if you want to chat a little bit about either numerology or enlightenment, my friend, I'm going to step aside. Mm, I see the synchronicity with enlightenment and rebirth. And with the greatest gift of love. It is there for all. Feel yourself, feel that energy. It is a gift to you. Mm -hmm. Dearest, dearest, magnificent beings of light. Do you ever take the time to realize your enlightenment, your talents, your gifts, your light? It is not about what others say about you. It is not what others perceive about you. Dearest, your greatest gift or gifts, for you have many, are within you for you to discover, for you to choose when the time is ideal, for you to share them, for you to become enlightened, is all part of your journey. And it all starts, all starts with accepting that you are loved. You are a gift from God the creator, to everyone on this planet. We understand that you may have been brought up in an atmosphere with our, where the sarcastic comment was, who do you think you are? God's gift to fill in the blank? Yes, that is exactly who you are. You are God's gift to humanity. And it is time. It is the ideal time for you to step into that. For your realization. You have been gifted many talents. You have been gifted the love of the creator and those of us unseen support team. You have been gifted the opportunity to continue connecting with and stepping into your greatness. That greatest love of all, that song, 
that voice, that human, Whitney Houston, stepped into her gifts. If she had not, what would this world have missed out on? Step, dearest beings, step. We are there to catch you. We are there to guide you. We are there to help with the enlightenment of this planet. That seven, the most spiritual of numbers it is associated with. And the five that the Calais card represents. Together, they are a three. That trinity. You and your inner being. God and the creative source. And all of us. Together, dearest beings. Together. We create that change, but it starts with you. When is the ideal time? When will be the ideal time? Right here, right now. There are unnumbered energies surrounding you, to support you. Trust, dearest beings of light. Trust. You are the greatest gift of all. For you were placed here at this point in time, for humanity's evolution, step into your enlightenment. Right here, right now. We surround you. We support you. We see you. Will you accept that we are here to help guide you? Right here. Right now. Namaste. Mm. 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 Shivers. Well, Shivers. I just wanted Shivers. to thank Janet for joining us today. Mm. I'm so you. glad that you're here and that you've had the mm. opportunity to be a part of our live presentation this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. I've just got waves going on here. <laughs> well, and I was thinking we needed to dance a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's Whoa. why. <laughs> my my waves are picking up your waves. <laughs> so I hope everybody else can loosen up after that. And feel the love. Oh, feel yeah. the love. Absolutely. Thank you. And share the love. Yes. You know, the spirit has guided us to share this with you. We ask you to share it with others. <laughs>